Hey, what's up guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the VR ShineCon VR goggles. These are the VR goggles. They measure 7.5 inches across, 5.5 inches deep, and 3.5 inches tall. The unit is made of a lightweight, hard shell plastic. It features a pupil distance adjuster, or PD adjuster, on top, which will change the spread of the lenses so you can focus on the screen and avoid double vision. There's also a distance adjuster on the side to make the screen and image appear farther or closer to you. The cushion around the face of the headset is a soft faux leather with about a quarter inch of foam padding which makes the goggles comfortable to wear. The goggles can be used hands-free by utilizing the headbands on top. The back of the headband where the top and the side bands meet has a padded leather patch that rests against the back of your head. On either side and on top, you can adjust the lengths using the velcro pads. On the face of the unit, the front panel opens downward and is held in place with a strong magnet. You'll need to use a smartphone with a decently high resolution screen to use these goggles properly. Your phone sits in this grip here, and it must be between 2 and a quarter and 3 inches wide. It can also be no thicker than 3 eighths of an inch thick, so this may require you to remove your phone's case. Once you have your phone installed, you can load up an app like Google Cardboard and start exploring. Here's a quick preview of a 360 degree museum tour video. By looking around, you can see the elements of the video all around you. There's a whole channel of YouTube dedicated to free 3D immersive content called YouTube 360. Just open up the video on your phone, then press the VR goggles icon on the bottom right corner. When your phone is in the goggles, it can get kind of heavy and tiring just sitting on your face. I still like to hold the goggles with my hands from time to time to keep the weight off my face. But it's nice that I can let go when my arms are tired. The one drawback to these goggles is that they lack a physical button on the outside to access touch capabilities on the screen, which some apps and games need to function. If you're sensitive to motion sickness, using the goggles for extended periods of time may make you feel nauseated. Also, if your phone screen or the lenses of the goggles get scratched, the flaws will be magnified, which may detract from your viewing experience. Overall, as a viewer, it performs well, and it's easy and comfortable to use. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.